Traveling to Charlottesville to play for the Tom Sox can be a lot for a player outside of the regular season, but coming to play with a college teammate can be a lot less stressful. Pierce Bennett and Adam Ciceri both play at Wake Forest, but only Pierce was here at the start. In the middle of the summer, Bennett asked Tom Sox staff if Ciceri could join him for the stretch run. Of course, uh, I came down here early June. Um, loved it. Great, great atmosphere. Great, great city. Uh, I knew Adam was being a lazy, lazy man in his house doing nothing. So I got him uh, off his butt. Told Mike, we got a good bat, good guy. Bring him down here, and uh, everything worked out. And got my buddy down here, to play with me. Coming off of college seasons that didn't go quite as they hoped, Bennett and Ciceri came in with the mindset to improve. After being two of the team's top hitters over the summer, it's safe to say that the improvement can certainly be seen. I guess speaking for both of us, we didn't really have the uh, college seasons that we expected or really wanted to. Um, so we kind of, at least personally, I came down here with an approach to uh, get better as a hitter and fielder, all-around baseball player, have a better mental approach at the plate, uh, kind of take things from what my coaches told me to work on towards the latter part of the season and kind of and put it into some games and just become a better all-around player. Like Pierce talked about, we had similar experiences in, in our college season this year. We were affected by COVID and struggled a little bit after that. And uh, so I came down here kind of, I think we both came down here with a little bit of a chip on our shoulder just to become a better player for, for Wake because uh, they put a lot of time in with us and they deserve you know, our best effort and us being at our best. Uh, so I came down here really with the focus uh, to just be mentally a better hitter, uh, put the ball in play hard, and that's really, that's really what I came down here to do. Their goal certainly became a reality as the series finished the season with the most home runs, including two in the same game at Covington. The level of competition in the VBL and on their own team helped them gain valuable insight to help them improve going into 2022. It's high level baseball, and that's what I like, and that's what I'm really happy that it is down in this league. Um, it's always a question in summer ball, like the talent that you're going to have around you, but the talent on this team is, it's power five and it's really, really good. It's all, it's all full of kids who could potentially be professional baseball players. So having those people, those type of people around you, talking to them about the game and just getting better day in and day out using the techniques that you've learned and the techniques that other schools have learned, it makes for a, a really good summer. The deal was sweetened with words from former Tom Sox and Wake Forest players like 2019's Cole McNamee. And he was hyping this spot up a lot. He's like, this is the greatest college uh, summer team city location uh, in the country, basically. He's like, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the UVA is right there. You're going to love it. Fans are great. Coaches are awesome. So I was really excited to get down here and see what he was talking about. And he was right. I got to hear all that. I didn't know I would be coming down here, but then Pierce was down here the first month when he gave me a call. He, you know, he kind of reaffirmed all those things and was like, yeah, this is a really good spot. So I really didn't know, uh, but it's been really awesome since then. Teammates coming down to Charlottesville together to play for the Tom Sox is definitely unique, but this pair was extra special. For Tom Sox TV, I'm Brooke Stake, Go Sox.